So this video is going to cover my Echeveria exotic propagations and this is my mother plant. This is a pretty cool looking Echeveria and it's a cross um, between Echeveria Laui and Echeveria Cubic Frost. It doesn't look perfect at the moment if I'm honest because it's been sunburned as you can see but I'm hoping that the new growth would be much better. And these are my propagations. So these particular ones are literally about, um, I would say one month. And just look, look at this little baby Echeverias. Look, they're just so cute. And they have this kind of pinkish and purple um, pastel color. They're just super, super cute. And what I love about Echeveria Exotic is that, for me, they uh, they propagate so quickly. They're literally my best propagators in the house. They're my best succulent propagators in the house. So as you can see, um, this particular leaf is already quite dry, so I can simply remove it very soon. And these two, um, yeah. These two leaves, mother leaves, has been have been removed already. And like I said earlier, this mother plant have been spoiled. It's been sunburned, and yeah, I just hope the new growth will correct that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the thing. But the new propagations, um, basically these when when they sun stressed they have the most beautiful pink and purple colors it's like um, some sort of unicorn colors very beautiful unicorn ombre I'm trying to get it closer to the camera here but yeah it's not focusing very well I just want to show you how cute they are, <laughs> how tiny, adorable, cute and precious. And these are my um, later propagations. So the difference between these ones and the other ones, I would say about two, three, mm, I would say yeah, two weeks maybe. So these are all of my propagations, meaning that I haven't thrown away a single leaf. So meaning that the propagation rate for this particular Echeveria is very high. I would say literally 100% for me. You can see that even those tiny, tiny new, new growth, new baby plants, even though they're so small, they are there. So nothing is lost, nothing is lost. So I'm just super excited about this propagation success and I can't wait to see them grow and develop into beautiful unicorn Echeverias. And of course, they develop this, this color when they sun stress. So without the sun, they, um, they lose this magical color. So I'm gonna show to you again the mother plant when it was whole <laughs> in its original state before I removed quite a few leaves to propagate them it was this beautiful color that I described and unfortunately during the um, the very sunny few days it got uh, sun damaged it's not sun stressed but sun damaged and you can see the damage on the leaves and um, and unfortunately they have they have this beautiful colors when they sun stressed and unfortunately in my house um, I don't have the perfect conditions for succulents I don't grow them outside in the greenhouse they are all indoors and I only have two south facing windows the space is not that uh, big I have to use shelves on my window sills and some of the succulents are covered by the other levels of shelving so it's not ideal the conditions are not ideal but I just love the succulents and I want to have as many of them as I can 
So it's not perfect for me, but with the new baby plants, there's always, it's like a new opportunity to grow a new perfect edge area. And it's kind of like every little plant is my new hope for a new perfect edge area. So maybe I can get it right and I can uh, create better conditions for it. Um, so it's, it's never lost. I mean, it, there's always chance to propagate. I bought my mother Echeveria from a seller online and I didn't know much about Echeveria Exotic, maybe I heard it a couple of times, but to be honest I didn't know much at all and I had no idea that I could propagate it, but it looked so beautiful that I really, I really had to propagate it and it's just amazing, it's just amazing, I can't, I can't get enough of Echeveria Exotic and I don't know how many I'm gonna have in a year or so. Other than that, in terms of succulents, I'm not a huge fan of Echeverias because for me, like I said, I don't have perfect conditions, so a lot of them tend to stretch out a lot and they look, yeah, they, look, they don't look good for me. But this particular succulent, Echeveria exotic, uh, it stayed in, their, in, in its original shape and yeah, I'm just so happy about it. I'm so excited to see how my new baby plants develop and um, yeah hopefully hopefully I'm gonna update you later on so if you're interested to see an update on these propagations um, leave me a comment <laughs>